Flakes. We're with Luna again tonight and we've had a big step forward with Luna today because we've managed to be able to use some of the inputs in the programming environment. So we tried one input first and that was successful. So then we, we made another little program using two different inputs to have two different reactions. So I made two little shorts about this today. And if you didn't see those, you can see them now. Look at that, follow me later. I thought, oh, yeah, she is. Look at that, follow me later. Three of them. Oh no, they're walking too slow. She's overtaking them. <laughs> We've finally been able to use an input in a program for Luna. So we're using the input to pat the head once and then she does this animation material love to the end. And here it is. So now I've still got pat the head once as the input to make Luna play the animation love. But I've also added another input. When she hears hello Luna, she should bark. Hello Luna. It's worked. So I was absolutely delighted with that. And just for a bit of fun, I ran this program again, but this time I kept saying hello Luna to her to make her move. <laughs> I just heard me say it. Move across the floor towards me until she reached me. Hello, Luna. Hello, Luna. Hello, Luna. Hello, Luna. So that was a bit of an inefficient way to get Luna to come across the room to come up to you. So, so I thought what I'd do is just use the correct parts of the programme to make her move forward. So now we want to try getting Luna to move forward. So we've got make zero degree turn ahead so she's not going to turn at all she's just going to go forward and we've set her to go half a meter half a meter there and she's just carrying on now because she's come out the so program, she comes out the program and gets if it's not in, if it's not in the loop yeah she comes out of the program mm. and the final thing we did was to put that little bit of programming language going forward into a loop and to have her start doing it by tapping her head. So this time I've put it in a loop and 
and to make it go forward half a metre this time um, I've got to pat her head so because it's in a loop every time I pat her head she should go forward half a metre So that was very successful today, Paul. Terrific, yeah, really good. So what I want to try and work on next mm -hmm. is getting her to detect an object, having that as an input. Oh yeah, with a LiDAR sensor. Mm. So uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that yet because presumably you've got to have her moving forward. Uh -huh. um, and then use uh, this if con condition um if she detects an mm. object yeah because so, mm. i did try using it today but it didn't work and i was getting a bit tired by that point right. <laughs> look at those ears <laughs> oh, hey, up. what's happening in here? <laughs> yes, that seemed a bit more tricky. And, of course, I think there's going to be a lot more in the programming environment than is actually there at the moment, you know, with future updates. Yes, it's all very exciting. Have you any ideas for... Uh, things you'd like to do in the programming um, environment, things you'd like to explore. I think I'd like to uh, get to go on a, a set path. Oh, yeah. Mm. Maybe go through some uh, slalom-like objects and then come back to the beginning. Of the some, some what, like objects? No, uh, where she's got to steer through them. Like right. Slalom. Right. There's also an input for um, using face recognition, like recognising oh, yeah. the master, or just uh, um, recognising a, a, a human figure and right. having that as an input. So right. that should be interesting yeah. as well. Yeah. I think that's all the inputs you can use, uh -huh. certainly at the moment anyway. Can she recognise a non-human face, like, uh, say, for instance, the eyebrows or something on the soft Well, uh, in the programming environment, all it says is human figure mm -hmm. or master's face. That's all. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else for, for recognising with a uh, camera. And the only thing you can have as an input to her microphone mm -hmm. is hello luna ah uh, right i should imagine that will change as well i think sometimes she sees the rug as an edge oh do you think so mm. that's why she's acting scared mm. yeah. So she, it's, that suggests she's seen um, drops or edges uh, with the camera then, doesn't it? Rather mm. than measuring them with a lighter. Yes, I think the next few days, that's going to be the focus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Programming environment. Yeah, yeah. See what other things we can get to work or learn how to use. sister who's not a robot uh, enthusiast uh, thought this uh, ro pet robot had a lot of character. Mm. I love her ears with that <laughs> fur on. One of those ears isn't moving at the moment. Yeah. 
I don't think much of your pencil case. together here. <laughs> Look at those two sitting up together <laughs> oh, she's snuggling down a bit now so folks that's about it for this video see you again with Luna in the very near future and hopefully we'll have learnt a bit more about the programming environment. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.